Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about a medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is link list components. The problem statement goes like this, that you are given the head of a link list containing unique integer values and an integer array nums, as you can see in the input as well. So you are given an integer unique integer link list as well as an array of you just that is values. Now you have to return the number of connected components in this nums, uh, where two values are connected if they appear as conjugative the link list. So you have to just form consecutive blocks okay, or consecutive components in this link list of the values which are also consisting in. Okay, let's take an example. Let's say that let's take this example only. Uh, the link list is 0, connected to 1, connected to 2, connected to 3. And the numbers inside nums is 0, 1, 3. 0, 1. Now, can you just tell me how many connected components are there of in this link list which consist of only these elements? So, 0 is there because I cannot take 1 because 1 is not, okay, 1 is also there. 0 and 1. 2 is not there. This is one component and this is one component. Because 2 is not there. So continuous components, okay, in the linked list, which consists of numbers from this particular. Okay, so there are two components. And answer for this is 2. That's what you have to do. So from here as well, so 0 is one component. Then uh, 1, uh, so 0 and 1 is one component. Then 2 is not there. 3 and 4 is. And uh, that's the overall problem statement. You can pause on this video and try to solve this off your own. But it's very simple. What you can try to do is that you can just iterate, right? And you can just make a set to just easy uh, or very fast retrieval of these unique numbers. So just check whether this at this number or not. And what you can directly do is that for every element, you can just check that whether it is part of a previous conjugative, uh, you can say component. And so then you can keep on building it. And if it is not, you can start building a new component if it component that has started. And if it breaks, you can just uh, you just break. So nothing much complicated. I could just give you a very small example. You can just iterate over this link list from left to right. Okay, this is a part. So let's you just you just have to maintain that whether a component is started or not. Okay, the component not started at the very start. It has started at this point. You just have to check that whether this particular number is present inside this num array is present. So start the component. Okay, then go to the next element. Get this inside the nums array, but the component is still continuing. So okay, this element is not inside the nums array. So this component has stopped. Okay, this component stopped. Then this element inside the uh, nums array, and because the con like the component has stopped, this new component that will start. So you will increment the component. That's it. So what we have done here is that we have first inserted all the elements inside this nums set so that we can retrieve all of these numbers very fast. So to Then this is tool. This is the streak which will just tell that whether this streak on for a or not. This is just a while loop which is to the link list. So till the head is not equal to null, we will keep write this link list. Now we will just take the value and we will just check that that the current value that I'm on, if it is present inside the set and the streak is false, which is that we have not taken any. We have not taken any comment, but this particular element is inside the set, which means that it is of a new component. So we will make our streak equal to true. Why? Because now our streak will start. I will keep on appending elements inside this particular component if they are in the same. And we'll increment the total, which means that we have incremented a new component inside the link. Okay. Uh, I will keep on doing this. If the current element is again inside the same set and the streak is true, which is that it is present inside the Set and the streak is completely going on. We will not do anything. Okay. The other thing is that if at any point now my count becomes zero, which means that the element is not there, but the streak is true. Okay. The element is not there, but the streak is completely going on, which means that the component has completely done at that point we have to make a streak. Work. Okay. But if a component is not there and the streak is also false, we will not. Okay. And the end, we have to jump into the next element head uh, head equal to head next, and we'll keep on doing that until this. So the two conditions we have to do capture that whether this complete that like this streak tells us that whether the next element is inside the previous component that I'm building. And this is the total and the image is written. That is how many number of components we have created throughout. 
that's it so this is just an o of n approach but we have done also of uh, a login to check out whether element is present or so o of n so the logic and the code part for this problem if you have any doubts you can mention in this particular box i will see you in the next one and bye